My sisters and my brothers, good night. My brothers and sisters, people of St. Lucia, bonsoir, bonsoir tout le monde. Good night to you wherever you are. I am thankful for your time, my sisters and brothers, and I appreciate your attention. And so, my sisters and brothers, children, our worst fears, our worst fears have come to pass. But for many St. Lucians, the time had come many, many, many months ago when brothers, fathers, mothers, youth, and the elderly saw where the PM and his UWP cabinet were taking our country. They felt from early the coldness of the government and the rotten smell of unclean deals done overseas in secret, my brothers and sisters. They felt helpless while the uncaring prime minister continued to sell our country bit by bit. Gouvernement kavan peinu cho pacho by Jean qui sorti d'or pour yo faire pour vie. Monsieur Sedam. They saw the government ministers setting up their wives. And they saw friends of the government setting up businesses, my sisters and my brothers. Getting control of our budget. Controlling from the budget to the garbage trucks and the garbage bins, my brothers and sisters. And yes, while many patriotic St. Lucians started to sound the alarm, Many of you called the radio stations. Many wrote on Facebook, in social media. You protested, my sisters and brothers. Thousands of you marched in May of last year and in November. And if some of you were waiting for hope, my brothers and sisters, if you are waiting, well, that hope is fading, my brothers and sisters. This government is not for us. Your papunu. They are for the firms of their friends, the businesses of their relatives, and foreigners who come here strictly for profit without care for the country, my brothers and sisters, those with connections. I want to borrow from a famous man called Martin Nimlola, a man who fought against Hitler. And he said something, he wrote a poem, my brothers and sisters. And I want to apply it to St. Lucia. They came for the elderly care workers and the nice workers in the schools and businesses, in the hospitals. And some of us said, that's not our business. So we said nothing. When Spider said, 90% of the people are labor, then they came for the small contractors of CDP. And Pascal Frank, Niangofwa, you have victimized Munko Frank and Adam Munbadi. Then they came for the workers of the tourist board. And because some people say they are working in tourist board, they sat home and they said nothing. And so when Shasne saw no one is saying a thing, he came for the children's laptops. He came for the children's laptops. And when he saw nothing happen, he went for the farmers and the black cigar talker program. Alan Shastner and the UWP, when they realized they could come for people, they decided they are coming for our beaches. They went to Pigeon Point and they said they're taking our land. They went to Viewfort and they said they're taking our land, my brothers and sisters. They came for our national parks. And the police and the public sector workers, some of them said nothing. Some of the civil servants watched from the buildings, the glass cases in the buildings. And they said nothing. And so when UWP saw that, they say, okay, USA nothing, we're coming for you too. And so they went for the police and said no salary increase. And they went for the public servants, my brothers and my sisters. And when they were finished, they went for NSDC and they formed CHTTI. And nobody wants to answer about CHTTI. The company that a minister collected a check and he said if I can build 10 schools for my wife I will build it and now the young people my brothers and sisters the young people are asking questions they have to pay their loans 
and the parents who are the real workers in this country. You do you say workers? Me can work for Porsche for me, yo, Jean, you work foreigner. The real workers of this country have to send their children to CHTTI and they are now asking questions. My brothers and my sisters, on the 25th of March 2017, if you go back to The Voice, you will see a whole article, CHTTI offers training in hospitality studies. Some of the same training that was offered at NSDC. And the questions are, my sisters and brothers, are they accredited? No one is saying a thing. Gail Rigobat, Minister for Education, what about CHTTI? They ain't saying a thing because they all have businesses together in the cabinet, my brothers and sisters. Why are we not hearing about the concerns of the students who took loans? Say, Jean Mouna qui prend loan pour aller CHTTI. Qui manière nous pas attendre rien à la CHTTI? Shouldn't the minister, shouldn't the prime minister say something? He's being treated as the personal business. And so, my brothers and sisters, let us shy moon pakadi and ye. Let us shy moon pate to boot. Eka ho, come a mil moon match. Adam moon di yopa politic. And so, they are coming for you. Eka leo fini pou, la paka ni pieson pou pale ba wo. My sisters and my brothers. My brothers and sisters, when the prime minister looked around, and they signed a DSH deal. They went for our stadium to give to Tioa King. They went for our sandy beach to give to Tioa King. They went for our mangrove in Fufort to give to Tioa King. They went for our meat processing facility to give to Tioa King. They took part of the land in Fufort North in Opicon to give to Tioa King. And they took all the areas in the south you guys, this is Muna. You pass a new beef. You pass a new cochon. You pass a new mouton. You pass a new pool. Pas même pigeon you sa new. Parce que ces bagages là, qui affecte cheval, Tio King. They are coming for us, my sisters and brothers. And they came for the sick. They came for the sick. Those who work with the sick and who are sick. The prime minister came for them. And for Stevenson King who all of you say is a saint. For King, it did not matter. The former health minister, it did not matter. Sarah Flood is another former health minister. It did not matter to Sarah Flood. And it never matters to Mary Isaac when Alan Shastner decides to privatize our hospital. My brothers and my sisters, Alan, King, Sarah, Mary, Bradley, Spider, Ezekiel, Fortuna, Estefan, Gail Rigobert, Ubaldus, Roman Gil Francis, Fede, Guy Joseph, Kill us, Mamachea. Kill us, Mamachea. Lani on Sufuye, your DC Herod. I want you to remember those names well. Because they will go down in history as the cabinet that is going to try to privatize our health services in this country over our dead bodies that are happening. My brothers and sisters, they want to give overseas private operators our hospitals. I will tell you what they want to do. They want to give the mental, well the wellness center, the building. They want to give it to a private company and they want to put the wellness center in the Owen King EU hospital in one of the wings, my sisters and brothers. They have started meetings with the staff and that is what Alan Chastney wants to do. He wants to go down to St. Jude and give the current St. Jude building to a private operator and he wants them to build a new hospital so they will also privatize it in Viewfort, my brothers and sisters. They want to privatize our health care. And I say to you, my brothers and sisters, what does it mean to you? What does it mean to you? Le Labour Party te gaverti. Labour Party commence à travailler pour changer santé en cette lycée. Labour Party commence à travailler 
à Owen King e Hospital. Le bas parti Swen Saint Jude ka wi bati. Et le bas parti continue wi bati Saint Jude. Yo pon l'argent à la même à l'école. Yo pon l'argent la même tout le monde la pays. Et là nous vini à gouvernement. Nous pas jouons l'argent pour wi bati Saint Jude. Docteur Kenny Anthony, t'es ni pour pon l'argent en budget. Il t'a dit pour aller à Taïwan, à jouer dans l'ONU pour finir avec Baptiste Saint Jude. And yes, we were crucified for it. We took the nails of crucifixion and they lied all over the place. And today, today, every single day, Kenny Anthony and the Labour Party must be drinking another sip of wine because we knew we were doing the right thing at Saint Jude, even though it took more time than we wanted to. We were going to finish the hospital. That was all we were going to do. A boise Guy Joseph Kadou, he played a hundred million dollars. Who said, why did he do that? He wants to build a new hospital so they can give contracts left, right, and center. My brothers and sisters, I say to you, just as a small group of people in Viewfort and people from Castries came down to Viewfort every two or three Saturdays to walk up and down Sandy Beach, Ade moun te gadi nou fou. Nou ka mache yopan don. Dele la ni 10 moun, 5 moun, 20 moun. Me nou ka mache. Tou le 3 samdi nou ka mache. Zaka sui de san. Jean soufou ye vini. We had demonstrations. E ka boeza alan chas le kadi. I pa jeme we pies plan pou mette bildi nan le sandi bitch. We mene yo ka mati. It's pressure that does that my brothers and sisters. When brother Alva spoke about the aircraft. Alan chas le di. If I take a shame and make a peace building on the Sunday beach. So I want to tell you, my people of St. Lucia, just as they are to back down from Sunday beach, we have to ensure that they back down from privatization of our hospitals in this country. There shall be no privatization of the Owen King EU hospital, my brothers and sisters. We have to be determined. And I say to you, while the wards of history of the medical care in St. Lucia will be marked like name, with names like Bennett, Mother Omar, Owen King, the Sisters of the Sorrowful Mother, and others, many, many others. We must mark our history. We must mark our history, our struggle against the arrogance of the UWP, my brothers and sisters, who want to give our hospitals over for profit. They say Kenny and the Labour Party did not finish the hospitals. Like you need to call the bagay. A boise engineer ka sot do ho, ka demanti yo, a boise yo ka di engineer sa la se leba. I say to you before I go, my brothers and sisters, that the man who we call Pip, the man who is from Castries, who was born and raised in Castries, Philip J. Pierre, who we affectionately call Pip, is not like Alan Chastney. He can never be like Alan Chastney because Alan Chastney does not feel what Philip J. Pierre feels. Alan Chastney does not understand what it means to lie down in the hospital in Castries, being cared for by St. Lucian nurses and St. Lucian doctors like Philip J. Pierre has, my brothers and sisters. So he does not understand what it feels to own your own hospital and to ensure that the hospital is entrenched in the bosom of St. Lucia, my brothers and sisters. He does not understand that like Philip J. Pierre does. So he can easily sell away our hospitals. Say, say, quoi? A bush leepale. My brothers and sisters, I say to you, let us galvanize our spirit. Because we have a leader in Philip J. Pierre who understands the people of St. Lucia. Philip J. Pierre would not stop all of the projects around St. Lucia. He would not have stopped the roads to Gozile. He would not have stopped the roads to Gozile. He would not have stopped the roads to Gozile. He would not have stopped the roads to Gozile. He would not have stopped the roads to Gozile. He would never have destroyed the abattoir. Philip J. Pierre would never give away the beaches of St. Lucia because he doesn't understand what it means, my brothers and sisters. And that is the difference between the St. Lucia Labour Party and the United Workers Party. So we must not give up. 
We must not make people believe that because we lost an election, we have no right. Every single one of us must stand up today in history. You must be counted in this history today to ensure that the United Workers Party does not sell out St. Lucia. And I want to be counted in this. Who else wants to be counted in this struggle? My brothers and sisters, be counted in this struggle with Philip J. Pierre and the St. Lucia Labour Party. We cannot let St. Lucia go to friends, foreigners, and, and family. Thank you very much, my brothers and sisters. Peace and love.